Hey, 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 guys. What's up? Yes, sir. Well, I've been at it. I've been, well, you can see I haven't done anything in my room yet, but I sure thought about it a lot. I sure did. I had a friend over today, and we were even discussing the way it should be. So maybe soon you'll see something interesting, or you won't see all this garbage. Maybe it'll be more interesting, but that back wall there, it's going to be my new studio as far as like it's going to be one wall-to-wall -wall giant place for me to make my paintings. And so, you know, you'll get a good see of them behind me as I'm working on them. And I have to go right to town. I honestly have to go to work, you know. So, um, you see, I'm not serving mankind whenever I go back to work and go all this business, you know. I am serving me. I'm serving God, and I'm serving, uh, you know, uh, a, a fallen of people that, you know, that are, that are catching on to the Bible, you know, this the spiritual side of the Bible. And so I have been reading um, from the book of Leviticus, and these are the laws. This is like, these are our statutes. These are the things that, you know, if you follow these commandments that you'll be okay but what we have learned in all of these stories so far is that we have made some kind of a vow and until this vow is done until our work is done and our work represents this our, our kundalini this idea that we have to work from the base and each one of these these chakra systems is a is an opening to a much higher place uh, from the from the, the seven chakras leading you to your crown and it be, the scientific part of this is actually the idea of shutting down the mind and giving some kind of uh, you know you, you you break off from this lower conscious level of beta and you drift into alpha which is the removal of the garments. And now you're this child and become a spirit uh, in spiritual form. You have taken your skin off. So from this point on, it's darkness falls upon the person doing this because you have no idea what's going on. You won't from this point. You know, this is where, they, this is where the rapture comes in, this idea of coming from the sixth chakra from the seat of the soul to to jumping into well it says he's gonna baptize us with the holy spirit okay that's mother that's not father father already has his name so he we get introduced to the the right side of the brain through jesus during this particular part of our our ascension process all right so um what we've learned is is that you know you have to do this works and it is mechanical yes this is you have to do this first this first this first that first this and this and that and boom that happens right if you can't take instructions you know then god says you know that enjoy yourself that that's only evil people or those that are dead can't take instructions so you know it's a good way of weeding people out and the other way of weeding people out is if you don't believe in the Bible, if you don't believe in God, all right, there, you, <clears throat> we'll talk about whether or not you believe in Jesus. But the idea is that, yeah, you had to follow this book. You had to believe in this book. You did. You did have to. And for it will be your snare is what it says because it's made to catch you. It's a snare. It says that. It says that, all right, in probably uh, Corinthians somewhere, that the Bible was made as a snare to catch people. You know, it's a net, you know, to, to chop trap you. But this is symbolic writing. And so I want to share a little last piece of Leviticus, you know, because there's only like, I don't know, a couple more chapters left in it. And... Um, where are we at? Okay, we're here by, this is Leviticus. I think I was around 25 when you did it before. We're on Leviticus 26. 
that would make that would make it eight. It'd be a control number. All right. And basically, it's it's talking about you know you're. Let's let's start at the top real fast. Uh, we're not going to do it all. This is long, 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 and I wanted to make this short, short, short. Uh, all right. So it's uh, twenty six, and so it says, "Ye shall make you no idols or graven images, neither rear." You up a standing image, neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land to bow down to, unto it. I am the Lord your God, and uh, ye shall keep my Sabbath in uh, reference my sanctuary. I am the Lord, and if ye walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and do them, then I will give you rain in due season, and I'll give you the land that yields uh, her increase, and the trees of the field shall yield their fruits, and the thirst and, and your uh, threshing shall reach unto the vintage, and the vintage shall reach unto the sowing time, and ye shall eat your bread to the full, and dwell in your land safely. And I will give peace in the land, and ye shall lie down, and none shall make you afraid. And I will rid evil beasts out of the land, and neither shall the sword go through your land. And, and ye shall be ye shall chase your enemies, and ye shall fall before at uh, before you, they shall fall before you by the sword, and five of you shall chase an hundred, and a hundred shall put ten thousand to flight, and your enemy shall fall before you by the sword, and I will have respect unto you, and make you fruitful, and multiply you, and establish my covenant with you. All right. That was the first nine of this, and we're talking, it goes on to tell you um, the, the kind of food, not, not the kind of food, but that it's just saying that you'll eat from like new, you'll be, everything will be new. I'll set my tabernacle amongst you, and my soul shall not abhor you, and I will walk among you, and I will be your God, and ye shall be my people. I am the Lord your God, who brought you forth out of the land of Egypt, and ye shall not be, ye and ye not be their bondmen. And I have broken the bands of your yoke and made you go upright. And if ye will not hearken to me, I will not do all of these commandments. All right, so that ends up on a fourteen, which is a five. If you do not hearken to me. All right, so then this is, if ye shall despise my statutes, this is the opposite side of this. This is, uh, we want to come down, because this is all just talking about all, all the bad things, that the wild beast among you. It says, if you walk contrary to me, I'll walk contrary to you, you know, and walk, walking is the works. You know, when you're stomping on God, this is the works, you know. That's, that's what that means, you know. So you just think about, a little Japanese toys or something just stomp, 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 and you got to stomp until the stomping times is done. Um, this is the interesting place here. Um, remember about if you walk contrary, I walk contrary to you. Here we are around 29, and it says, And ye shall eat the flesh of your sons. This is your, you know, worshiping ball. And the flesh of your daughters shall ye eat, because you know it's the it's the same thing for males and females. Remember, see, it could be a the damsel is also this 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 feather, this idea of your messenger. Um, it says here that I will destroy your high places and cut down your images uh, and cast your carcasses upon the carcasses of your idols, and my soul shall abhor you, or abhor. I gotta say that better. 
and I will make your cities a waste, and I will bring your sanctuaries to desolations, and I will I will not smell the savor of your sweet odors. This is number four. It's the idea of the burnt offerings that he's smelling and enjoying so much. All right. Sounds a little crazy, but that's the way it goes. And I will scatter you amongst the heathen, and I will draw you out. Uh, and your land shall be desolate, and your cities waste. All right, uh, we're getting closer. That desolation is this idea that that's the head wound that we talk about way down deep, and but at the end of the chat, at the end of Bible, where we have the um, there's this desolation that comes about when the right side of the brain is not being used. And I often wondered, well, what does she do? Where's it going on? Where's What's she doing at this particular time? Where's this at? You could call it a desolation. It's like open space. It's, a, it's nothing, all right? She's like, she's waiting for the male side to submit to her. And that's what the whole idea behind being a Moses, Moses being, talking about the meek inheriting the earth. He is the absolute meekest person on earth when God finds him, which is someone who subdues, who, who, is, who is easily subdued, who bends or who bows. And here they tell you, don't you bow anybody on your land. You already have me. I'm, you know, you're going nowhere. Um, so... 33 represents a six. This is where it says, I'll scatter you amongst the heathens. All right. I'll draw a sword out after you. And uh, it says, and then the land enjoy her Sabbath. This is 34 represents a seven. The Sabbath. That's what this done. So, you know, this idea of these things adding up to the number system, it never fails. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect mechanically perfect so we get uh four five six seven so on number 34 then shall the land enjoy her sabbath as long as it lieth desolate and ye be in your enemy's land even then shall the land rest and enjoy her sabbath as long as it lieth desolate in it shall rest. Because it did not rest in your Sabbath when ye dwelt upon it. And upon them that are left alive, and those who those you I will send faintness in their hearts. All all right, so the faintness in your heart. This is this idea. This is where the damsel comes in. They come in they will, this is when you get this inkling that you've had enough. But listen here. So while while this thing is wait, this person or this part of us, this the right side of our brain is resting from us. You know, it's not being needed. Ain't being used. You're running around with dad. You know and cutting your hair she's just like go go ahead go on you know i'll be here when you've had enough all right and so that's like the prodigal son business all right um so let's see let's go all the way down to the end of this for me and these are the statute of judgments of my law all right so we go to 27 i think it's the last one it is before we get to numbers Seven becomes a nine. Nine is a control number. That means, uh, I mean, it's not a control, that's eight. Nine is a conscious number, and you got to know whether, which side of this consciousness are you on? Are you on the, are, are you on the carnal side of consciousness, which is the 666, the lower mind, you know, the sodomy, right? Or are you on the higher mind, 144,000 that are saved? Are you on this side? Do you want to know which which brand of consciousness are you a part of? And I could tell you that if you've never gone this way, if you've never heard any of this business, then you're probably going to find yourself over on the carnal side, all right? 
So let's see. Uh, and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and say unto them, When a man shall make a singular vow, and a person shall be for, before the Lord by thy estimation, and thy estimation shall be of the male from 20 years old even unto 6 years old. Do you get that? He's going to go from 2. He's going to go from a 2-headed man to a 6, which is after he's done his work. That's what you're hitting, hearing here, especially on 3. All right. So, um, and if it be a female, then the estimate shall be 30 shekels. Uh, and if it... So they're, they're going over how much it costs to do this. All right. It winds up being 10 shekels. All right. That's the idea of the whole business. And let's see. It also talks about what you're bringing in to be uh, to be uh, holy, which would be your mind, your yourself. Don't change anything. He wants you to come just as you are. You 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 become you come up there and just as you are. Don't change nothing. You know, there's a beautiful song that I have done uh, during one of the uh, uh, Palm Sundays events that our church used to do, or that I, but the church I go to, a church I used to go to would do on uh, on these particular occasions. And I had my guitar and, and played a little song, but it was about come as thou are. And it's just beautiful, beautiful. Let's see here, sanctified feel. All right, so these are the commandments which the Lord commanded Moses. All right, for the children of Israel. It's it, it doesn't look good for this these people. All right, before we get on to numbers. Um, they are given truly the way to do it, how to do it. They've been told symbolically how to fix things up, and but when they're dividing things, when they're with when it shows them that they're actually having to divide something and split something in half, that's 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 what's that's not what's going on. I mean, that's that's keeping you. That's only taking you to the sixth ladder, the top of the ladder. They're not allowed to go over on the other side. All the stories are about, you know, there's the one person that's going to be saved, and that one person has represent a female side and some other other person, like with uh, um, with with uh, well, oh, shit, you know, what's his name? How come I can't come up with it so fast? Uh, Jacob and his brother, you know, his brother is Esau. They always come in two. So, you know, we get uh, Joseph and we have Caliph. Caliph means dog. So it's really these, this other side. I think Simon and Thomas, one of those comes about, Simeon or Simon. and But anyways, they're all twos. It always comes in twos is how it works. And so that's how they start out because one's the burnt offering, which is the skin, and the other is a peace offering that's on the inside. But when we do our burnt offering, then, then two show up. This is, you know, your skin's still being represented. Uh, and your spirit is up there with you, too. So these are the two five, the two flames, the two pillars that stand before God. And then later on, it, they're, they're being fused together. And so it's seven, seven flames that stand before the throne of God. And the throne of God is right here. And so we find that that's that four business that we that I've discussed not too much, too long ago. Um, when it comes down to uh, worlds and kingdoms. And the four beasts and anything four, anything four whatsoever, you know, is this traveling, you know, the 40 days and 40 nights with the rain and, the, and being stuck out in the desert, you know, it's this idea. And they still didn't get anywhere. Even though they traveled and traveled and traveled, they only got to so far and they took Moses instead of the whole group, right? 
Moses was the only one that God saved, and I, I and that includes his partner, you know, which is Aaron, right? And then we always heard about Aaron's sons. Well, you and I are Aaron's sons in this in this particular part. Jesus isn't born yet. Otherwise, you're Jesus, all right? And through the M Moses story, you're Moses, right? And then when Abraham, it's Abraham, you know? Um, when you are, uh, let's see, in the land of, of, of uh, the Eden and stuff like that, you're Adam, right? You're Adam. Eve would be your spiritual side. Uh, and the females would have Adam on their left side and they'd have Eve on their right side. This is how it works, you know. Um, these are the two. This is, if you, you are the main characters of these stories that are actually going through a change and no one else goes with you, only you and your family, you know, only you and your family, right? That's why it was kind of tough to, to kind of tell you that, you know, you're really married to your sister. This is the wedding that you come up with. You got to say you're really married and your mother and your father, you're bringing them together and you're using a child to do this with, all right? But in these stories, because they have it, it's an outside thing. And when all of this information is about the spiritual side of us, which is the inside of us, all female parts of us are the positive, positive energy reactions to a negative energy reaction. That's just male and female. Do it like a battery. You just, you know, it's, it's, it's a battery. You know, it's this idea. Can you see that there's a negative and a positive side? We are electrical people. But anyhow, that's how our brains, it's the brain. So everything is, everything is up in here. This is the tabernacle. I'm with man, you know. I'll come and dwell with you. Build this place, you know. And this is the street. This is the road that they take, you know. Clear this road. Make straight the path, you know. It's just beautiful. And we're still getting to the same place, you guys. You just don't have to believe in the people being real as being more personifications of some kind of energy that is within us, is all. And this female energy which copulates with that you wind up, you know, is your sister, is the way it works out on the outside. And they kind of make some apologies for it here and there, but at the same time, they don't. You know, it's something like they got a yada yada on. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know, because I mentioned this before when I was first venturing out into the world to talk to people, things, you know, one of the cool things to get their attention is, did you know about that, those two girls, those two daughters that rape their father, get him drunk, you know, take advantage of him? I never heard that before in my life. Where did you get that from? And, you know, and then boink, you know, just Google it. There it is. Oh, oh, well, you know, it was because it was the end of the world, they thought. You know, God just destroyed these two cities at the base of the mountain, you know. Do you know what they was Sodom and Gomorrah? Sodom is the left side of the brain. Gomorrah is the right side. It's where the secret is. That's the, you know, that's how that's how it got destroyed. Remember, there's always two. All right, this is the story. Lot becomes the veil between. Remember, he's holding the door shut so that none of the bad people, the men in the town, can't come in. He's holding the door shut, leaving him out, and you know somehow they were able to reach through and pull him through the door. You know, we're gonna take care of you. Well, they were what they're doing is this is the this is showing how the mind does not want to give up. It's going to it's like with Moses comes and he comes by the well and the ladies are coming up with the men in the town show up to to scare the women off and he rises up and 
and because he rises up, it shuts down the male side, and the girls come back to the well and take care of things. So it's just just beautiful. <laughs> it's just beautiful, you guys. I wish there, everyone learned how to do this, you know, because it's kind of cool. You don't believe, it's just hard. When I'm hearing things, and you know, it just seems, it just seems so easy. It just seems so easy. I wish it was, oh, I wish so many more people could be a part of this, you know, because you, you don't have to be crazy. Or, it's, I know it sounds so simple and it's, it's meant to be that way. All right. But anyways, uh, once you get over on this other side, you just see, damn, what a trick that was, you know, and you're mad for a little while, but then you get over that, you get over that. It's one of the lessons. You have to get over it, you know. It's 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 calling the, the higher conscience is telling you to grow up, you stupid kid, you know. And and it even tells you that it takes you from being a child into being a grown up. And that's what this thing is. It says when we when we are on the other side, they're looking at it as it's, we're, that we're just foolish kids, foolish children, following, you know, follies and stuff like that. That's that's really what this other God or this God or this the Bible is recognizing us as stupid little children. All right. Doing their little thing. They think they're everything. They're just foolish children that's why whenever we go into meditation and we come as children because we're coming as children and then it's the son of man coming in the air this is it they only want you to do it once of your once in this in your whole life but your whole life could be many lives but you this one season whatever that is you know and well, god knows when that happens you're you know, it's 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 over. You know, you 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 you're free. It says it ain't gonna, that you know that you can rest. This is your idea and your time. It's not for everybody. And if you're hearing this for your first time and never known this before, you know that all you do is if you really believe in Jesus, man, or God, or Buddha. If you have uh, a particular, uh, uh, you know, religious thing that you that you prove that you that you love and, and fear, you're you're not going to get it from stuff like you know, uh, you know. I don't think you can't be. I don't know that you can be a Baptist. I'm not so sure if you you have to fear. You got to learn the fear of God, all right, or Krishna. Or Buddha, you have to take on these personalities that want to raise their consciousness, and that's that's really the first thing, you know. But if you don't give a damn, you don't read your book, you don't have no skill, no care, no nothing whatsoever, then you know, then don't waste your time, you know. Wait, wait till another life, you know, you know, or it start putting your nose in the Bible, you know. There's plenty, of, there might be plenty of people around to help you learn how to read it correctly, all right? All right, so you guys, I'm going to let you go, and I hope this helped you out. You know, we're going to go into uh, another uh, book, you know. Leviticus is pretty cool, talking, talking a little bit about those skin ailments and things that happen to, you know, your procreation problems and that your hand doesn't work with leprosy and that this, uh, uh, spots and other things and blood problems between women and men. This is all talking about the same thing, meaning that you're not connected to God. It's all, you know, it's beautiful. Wow, I just heard some thunder. It's going to do it some more. So you might hear from me again. <laughs> I was going to go and do something, you know, just have some uh, 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 
cabin fever. But basically, I got to get my cabin in order. It's crazy. All right, so you guys, I love you. I really do. And uh, there'll be lessons, more lessons coming soon. I really do. Oh, did I show you what happened to my ear? Did I show you? Is this it? No, it's not this here. Ow. They, when they took that thing out, they, they checked this out. Ow. Ow, it hurts so bad. Look at, can you see? It looks like they took a big chunk. See that? Ow, man. That was just for the biopsy. Ow, it hurts so bad. I just took the thing off today. It's, oh, it's just nasty. So, wish me well. I love you guys. I honestly do. All right, and I enjoy those few people that, that listen to me. I really do. And uh, I hope we benefit from it.